Today is Solana RCD's annual plant sale. We're at Roosteller Farms, which is a brewery in Dixon, and we're at our plant sale, which happens twice a year. So this is our fall plant sale. Uh, we are here today to provide access to the public for native plants, um, which unfortunately are somewhat hard to obtain. And we chose this weekend because this is the Dia de los Muertos celebration. Monarchs are actually culturally relevant because they begin migrating to the overwintering grounds down in Mexico right around the same time of Dia de los Muertos. We've got two monarch workshops that are more about the monarch life cycle as well as how to provide habitat and how to plant milkweed in a way that's going to be most effective for monarch species and helping them with their migration and their overwintering. What I'm helping out specifically today is help sell our monarch way station kits and our irrigation kits that go with those monarch way station kits to help keep them alive and water them. So this is a tray of showy milkweed. It is a very important plant uh, for not only monarchs, but pollinators as a whole. Those are the obligate host plants for monarch caterpillars. So monarch butterflies will lay their eggs on native milkweed or non-native milkweed so that their caterpillars will eat that. That is their only food source. And if they don't have that, then they will not turn into a chrysalis and therefore a butterfly. And I want to re-emphasize, so we want to sell native milkweed, not non-native milkweed. And that has to do with pathogen buildup um, as we're trying to avoid having anything that's going to actually harm the monarchs. So it's really important to plant native milkweed um, it's adapted to this area, it's what the monarch caterpillars need, and it's what's best for them. Solano RCD staff and actually a bunch of other local partners, and we work a lot in partnership, are here actually promoting a lot of different uh, activities from planting hedgerows on ag lands, for replacing your lawn with pollinating plants that flower throughout the year. One of our main partners, Morning Sun, is here and they're located in Pleasance Valley and they're promoting herbs as well as native plants and pollinator plants as well. Most of our food comes from uh, being pollinated. I think it's 80% of every bite is actually pollinated by a native, a bee or a fly of some kind. So the more pollinating plants that we have out there, uh, it makes a stronger food system, as well as just generally the beauty of, of having pollinated plants out there and having habitat for the food chain. My favorite part about doing an event like this is getting to interact with so many people. It's just so many people passionate about monarch butterflies, giving them new information that they didn't know before. The most important thing is being able to, you know, not only be in our community and spread all of this amazing awareness about native plants and how important wildlife habitat is, but also to just be present with the people around us. You know, spread our knowledge with them to create a more knowledgeable county.